Hey TFB TV, if you like concealment and you like have an entire arsenal under your jacket, then you not, then I know you like HTC. Adam, thank you very much for coming on Miles, to the show today. Good to see you again, brother. Cool thanks, deal. Thanks for coming by. So uh, I'd really like to talk about some of the new products that you guys have this year to include this sweet new belt system that you guys have. You have a lot of interesting features that's really packed in here and can you just take it away? Absolutely. And if I may, so this is gonna be our, our newest generation battle belt that we call the Crux. Uh, it's our first generation low vis battle belt. Had a traditional you know, nylon webbing PALS grid on the outside. Worked great. We went back to the drawing board and wanted to come out with something that just improved on what we were already doing. So now we've got a laser cut you know, Cordura co-laminate here that's stronger than the original nylon webbing. We're also removing like an entire layer from the assembly. So you still get all the benefits from the old belt, the padding, the comfort, the Velcro underbelt lock-in. Uh, but now it's all thinner, lighter, and even stronger. Um, an ancillary benefit that's really cool and what makes this uh, a step in the a step above what we were doing previously is you can pop the belt that passes through the system now out in one and a half inch increments on the laser cut there. So that's gonna allow all of your thermoform gear, your holsters, your magazine carriers um, from the HTC lineup to ride on the belt. It's gonna give you an even stronger interface and it's gonna suck it in closer to the body. So this, this entire system can be easily concealed under you know, an appropriately sized cover garment like a, like a fall or winter jacket as well. I like that you know, you've got that going on with the belt system because it just really brings it in nice and tight instead of sometimes with Molly or PALS webbing, that pouches sometimes can fall off Absolutely. or you know, they just go away. The opposite of what you want with concealment. Yes, sir. Yeah. And like you're alluding to, the, the heavier the gear is you're hanging on that PALS grid a lot of times with a traditional battle belt, the more it wants to sag away from the waistline. Uh, the other uh, feature on this system, it's got a three-piece stiffener um, in the battle belt. So that allows, allows it to articulate here. A lot of unibody stiffeners. They're awesome in, one, in the respect that you know they keep the platform nice and rigid, but when it's time to stow your gear and put it in a go bag or stow it in a vehicle, it can be a little cumbersome to, uh, you know, to package it and put it somewhere comfortably. This will come with one of the, uh, one of the micro grip panels here, which covers the Velcro, and for a grab and go solution, works great. Like if you need to throw the entire system on over a jacket or just over whatever you happen to be wearing and you don't have one of our underbelts already on through your pants loops, if you're running one of our underbelts, the Velcro kind of makes it even better. Then it's going to lock into the waistline and with dynamic movement, it's just going to stay in place. You can do whatever you need to do, roll on the ground, bounce off a cover and it's gonna stay exactly where you want it to. Sounds good, and you've got another belt system that you guys wanted to show us. Yes, yeah. we do, and like with most of our products, everything's modular, um, so this next product I'm gonna, gonna show you, you can actually set it up on that Crux Battle Belt if you want to. Okay. So this here is our uh, mag stacker system. Um, this was driven by you know, one of our government clients that it was just adding payload to what uh, you know, to what everybody was required to carry on the waistline, and we wanted to carry more but take up less lateral space on the waistline. So the mag stacker allows you to carry an additional rifle mag, and there is two configurations, and also all the M4 magazine carriers are bi-directional. So whether you run rounds forward, rounds rear, doesn't matter. Good to Whatever go. you want. Yeah. There's two adjustment. Uh, tension adjustment settings here on the carrier. So regardless of whether you're running uh, P mags, Lancers, HK, Stanag, even Stanag, <laughs> you know your typical G aluminum GI mags, you can you can fine tune the adjustment for the thinner or the thicker uh, magazines. This one's set up right now for a payload of four pistol mags, two rifle mags. If you want to go carbine heavy you can run three rifle mags here and two pistol mags. Um, one other thing, we recently released uh, belt sizes like in, uh, in women's waist sizes as well. And one thing we found over the years, when you have, uh, when you have women shooters that tend to have, you know, are much thinner than us. Something like, what, 24 inches can right, be you, some women's waist sizes, absolutely. right? Absolutely, and you end up with a real sort of lack of real estate along the waistline. 
So one of our typical rig setups is two pistol mags, two rifle mags, where you can run all of that with the mag stacker in this much space. So you don't have to run this forwardmost component here, or even, you know, we've got guys out there that have 28 inch waist as well, and it can be a challenge for them to get everything they need on the belt line. So this is a good solution for that as well. So if I want to buy this today, when am I going to get it? It is already available on the website. Excellent. What are, we, to say. what are we talking about for uh, prices for this belt and the other one? It's going to be for this entire setup you see here, you know, with the belt, with the micro grip, holster, and this entire panel here, you're looking at 450 retail. For both of them or yeah. both of them? Okay. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Adam. I Absolutely. appreciate it. Miles, always good to see you guys. You too. Thanks cool for deal. coming by. Hey, guys. So that was just with Adam. Now I'm here with Chase from HTC. Chase, thanks for coming on. Dude, I really appreciate thank it. Thank you, man. really appreciate it. So HTC has a couple new holster systems that Chase is going to explain. Yes. And uh, take it away. All right, man. So really excited about the APS, or Adaptive Platform Series. So the entire idea behind this was user-driven, right? So we got feedback from our government client saying, hey, Love your stuff, but under certain mission sets or we're in certain pieces of kit, I need a holster that's a little bit lower, right? We're like, roger that. And the APS was born, right? So, what this is, we're starting off supporting Glock, Sig, Smith and Wesson, uh, and we're going to be doing other guns down the road. We're also starting off with out light bearing. Light bearing is coming, starting with the XE1 and then moving on. Uh, it's made out of HM 1 8 inch Voltron, so it's a little bit thicker because this is not designed for concealment at all, right? This is a, a drop holster or potentially a drop holster, right? So this is for overt carry. Right? Gotcha, so OWB. Sure, OWB, so yep. we're making sure that it's going to hold up to absolutely any abuse that these guys are going to put it through. Right? And something I'd like to point out, it's Boltron, not Kydex. Not Kydex, Big right. difference yeah. between the two. Absolutely, big difference yeah. between the two. Uh, there's a lot of science that goes behind that. I'm not going to get into all that right now, but bottom line, it's a hell of a lot stronger. It, it, you're, if you can break it, right, I'll shake your hand. I'd be, I'd be super, super impressed, right? And it, That's a challenge, CFB TV. That's right. <laughs> um, well, and it, it also holds up a lot better in a lot of these hotter environments that we've been in for a long time, right? So it's got some of the guys who have to be staged 24-7 to roll out, their kits in the car, you can get really hot in there, right? So this is going to hold up, and you're not going to have a real bad day. Surprise, surprise, I throw my gear on it, and it falls off, right? That's That would be bad. Absolutely. So on the other side of this, yes. you've got the lock-in systems in there. Absolutely. Yeah. So right now, this whole pattern, you know, we went through the development series, and we're like, all right, what can we do to make it work with as many of these modular attachment systems that are already on the market that guys already have? Everybody's Safari got Land, Blackhawk, Gaco, uh, yeah. Gico, Gico, G-Code, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Blade Tech. Yep. Right? So they've all got pretty good systems. Everyone's got their favorite. Probably already have one of them, two of them, three of them on your kit somewhere. No big deal, right? You buy the holster, it's going to come. The Blackhawk paddle. Blackhawk did a pretty solid job with this paddle, all right? So if, if paddles aren't your thing, no big deal. You've already got your attachment system of choice. This holes and screw pattern works with it already. Go ahead and pop it off, throw it on whatever you need. Um, but you know, with the way gear is becoming more and more modular, it's becoming more mission specific, whether you're civilian, law enforcement, or military, whatever your mission set is, right, people are realizing the right tool for the job is really what they need. And so we want to encourage people to do that, use the right tool, and so you can take one holster, you know, one holster to rule them all, right, and put it where you need it, when you need it. And that's the whole idea behind this. Absolutely. Um, so what are we talking about for availability and price-wise? So right now, uh, it's, it's available on the website, it's live. And as far as price goes, we're looking at right around the eighty-five dollars. Eighty-five dollars. Right. Yep. And if, if you don't see what you're looking for, either with a light combo or a pistol combo, right? It is a new product. Give us a little bit of time. Reach out to us. Let you know, let us know what you'd like to see, right? And we will absolutely put that in the queue, and, and you know it, it will come in time. Sounds good. Chase, thank you so much for talking to well, us. Thank you, sir. About all these holsters, and I'm sure a lot of our readers are going to get a hands on them, and a lot of our viewers are really want to see a lot more of them in the future. Right on. You Appreciate can always it. find us all over social media, highthreatconcealment.com. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Hit up that Instagram. All That's right. right. Have, a good, uh, have a good show, guys. Thanks.